Do everybody know Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. She would have come because it would have helped for a few hours. Yeah, I think so. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I didn't put any punch in there yet. Well, it's all there. You know, I know what you're thinking. What? Baby. Do you know that he would have been born by now? Do you know that we're going to have a lot of time? Next year will be Mr. Say it with me. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. And Frisco. Andrew. I hate Andrew, honey. Frisco. Don't you say Andrew. 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 Andrew Jones. I hope we're not interrupting. You always interrupt. I know. We thought we'd have one more glass of eggnog for the holiday season wrapped oh, up. Okay. What do you say? Present. So yeah, my welcome. Okay. Well, I'm glad you came. Yeah, I knew you would be. Hey, you sounded pretty good today, man. You know that? You did too. So I can't tell you how good it felt to have you back again, my friend. And all of us together? Well, we are all together. Yep. Wasn't it a wonderful day? <laughs> well, I'm going to make a toast, okay? Here, you can I'll eat. Can I get the full one? Yeah. Okay. Pitcher? This is too... Mm. Don't drink yet. I'm it sorry. Too it's been a hell of a year for all of us. And I guess you could say right now, except for all the pain. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'll have to click. Greetings. How's it going? Well, what we really want is a break in this murder case for investigation. Well, I have a couple ideas. Is there something wrong? Come in. Excuse me, Mr. Vane. I have an urgent phone message. Is there something to do with the brownstone homicide? Uh, no, but it's... Your orders were that I wasn't to be disturbed unless it was relative to the brownstone case. It's Sean Donnelly. It's the fourth time he's called. Uh, he won't take no for an answer, and he insists on talking to you. Look, I really have no time 
communications problem here. When I say I'm not to be disturbed, I mean it. Miss Cummings and Mr. James have a special assignment at the Bathstone. All right. Is Mr. Donnelly still on the line? Uh, no. I said I'd deliver the message to you. Well, tell him that I am in contact with the governor, and as soon as I hear anything, he will be the first to know. Yes, Mr. Day. D did you get in touch with Dr. Stain? Uh, no. He won't be at his office until later. Oh. Well, we might as well close down this office until New Year's then, because I can't get a decision from the governor about Sean's problem, and I can't talk to Dr. Stone about Terry's seat, well, because he isn't in the office. I mean, everything seems to have come to a standstill in this country. All right, then. Uh, look, you'll have to forgive our mood, but, uh... We just can't seem to get any place with this case. What about the ID on the body? We don't have one. Look, uh, Frisco, aren't you due for roll call at the police academy? Oh, I've got a few minutes to spare. Oh. Is this going to do something to help you? There has you, to be Anna? something we can do to speed this thing up. Speed it up? Yeah. Well, keep your eyes and your ears open. You know, clues don't actually announce themselves. Use your perception, sixth sense, you know, whatever it's called. Now, Robert used to call it just plain instinct. Mm, Frisco's very good at that. Oh. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Why are you so interested in Terry sleepwalking? This Dr. Stone, did he say it was relevant to the case? Dr. Stone is a scientist of general. Well, is Terry the issue now? I was under the assumption that Ted Holmes and Jennifer Talbot were the prime suspects. Everybody is a suspect at the Brown I think Anne's trying to tell us something. I think Felicia's instincts are working quite well. Yes. I think we'd better leave. Look, listen. Be careful. Be very careful at Brownstone. Brownstone, you mean? Home sweet home? Well, I'm not so sure. Everyone there is a suspect. You've got the message. <clears throat> Goodbye now. Uh, oh, boy. Hey. All right. While you're stuffing yourselves into your seats, let me take this opportunity to welcome you all back. I know you're all anxious that the holiday is over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Today we get down to murder one. Are you ready? Rule number one. Most murders are crimes of passion. Rule number two. If there's a murder, there's a motive. That brings on rule number three, which is look for the motive. Rule number four. Look for the motive. Need I say more? All right, let's say you're the investigator at the scene of the crime. You gather all the evidence. Your next step is to interview everyone, and I mean everyone connected to the victim. It can be sheer drudgery. It can take years. In fact, it often does. Yes, Jones? So what happens if all the people connected to the murder victim refuse to talk? We have our methods, our techniques. It's called undercover work. And undercover work can take uh, several different categories. Forget about all the dramatics, the trench coats, and the passing secret code words in the dark of the night. I'm talking about subtle methods, such as developing a friendship very cleverly with the uh, witnesses who've been holding back. Guess what? Sir, what kind of friendship are you talking about? Well, you'll learn that in due time. It takes years to develop a good undercover technique. I just don't want to open up that can of peas right now. Sir. Yes, Jones. What else could be done to crack a difficult case? You can have patience, persistence. Sometimes it's a good idea to search the premises or the personal belongings of the victim more than once. If you... Jones? Yes. Tell me something. Is this intellectual curiosity or, uh, or what? I mean, you seem to be very anxious to get this under your belt. Oh, no, sir. I was just curious. Um, mm -hmm. Well, don't tell me. You're working undercover on the brownstone murder, right? <laughs> I hate to burden you with all these business problems here. Oh, that's all right. It's all getting a little out of hand, isn't it? Yes, well, Grant isn't making any progress in getting the Egyptians to lift the quarantine of the ship. It's like a vicious circle. The ship's not going anywhere. It's the medical supply not being sold to the suppliers have their back orders and they want their money. I don't know how much longer I can count on the bankers to ride this thing out either. 
I don't know how much longer you can count on me. This has been really difficult for me. Oh, Felicia, it's not your fault. Well, I hate letting you down like this. You are not letting me down. I'm letting you down. I'm letting the company down. And I cannot get back in the driver's seat until I've got all of these legal matters that are bugging me under control, all right? Yeah, I take it you haven't heard from Albany. No, no. He was running out soon. Excuse me, Felicia. I need to speak with Sean. Sure. Um, no, I'll keep him on. Okay, call me if you want to talk some more about Hi. Oh, you see Frisco? Uh, no, thanks. Listen, uh, anybody seen my roommate around, Felicia, anywhere? I haven't seen her. No. Oh, I saw her before I left the hospital, and she said she had some shopping to do before she came oh. home. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's cold in here. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's the inspiration for this tea party. The chill was getting to us. We don't know how to work the furnace. Well, that's Jake's baby. Where is he? I saw him leaving before with a client. Oh, Frisco, could you give us some more heat? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, listen, you know, Mr. Holmes, it might be a good idea for you to learn how to work the furnace, in case Jake and I are never around. Would you mind? No, not at all. Hey. It's interesting, you know, women become so helpless when it gets around furnaces. The red marker makes it pretty easy. Just make sure the valve's turned all the way. Okay, I gotcha. Sorry to put you in a spot like this, but, uh, you know, if we had to rely on females to control the heat, we could be very cold this winter. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Hasn't Jake ever heard about a thermostat? I mean, it makes it a lot easier, saves a lot of time. Well, you know, new furnaces, old thermostats, they don't work too well together. We have some on order, though. So. Ah, it does beat shoveling coal. Yeah. I remember seeing my father do that every morning in the winter back in Laurelton. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, shouldn't we get back upstairs? Yeah. Um, tell me something. I, I hear so much about this Laurelton. It gets it pretty cold back there? Oh, yeah. We, uh, we have our freezing days. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a great place to live, though. Small towns are wonderful. Yeah. If I sound like the Chamber of Commerce, it's only because I am. <laughs> but Laurelton is really, I don't know, more than just beautiful. It's its very historic. Mm -hmm. Did you know that uh, General Ulysses S. Grant and Robert E. Lee rested their troops in our town? Is that right? Yeah. Not at the same time, I hope. No, <laughs> touche. I'd love to go back there sometime, maybe take Felicia on a little trip and, you know, see some of the landmarks, get Terry to show us some spots, you know, that, it would be interesting to see. She might even want to go with us, you know, for that matter, if she ever, you know, is ready. Ready? What do you mean? Well, I, I don't know. She has this, you know, this problem. She gets so depressed. I don't know. I think it has something to do with her, her laurel from past. I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you know anything about it? Let's go. No. Oh, I heard you were down here. Hi. Hi. Uh, what time would you like dinner tonight? I did a big stopping today. You did? You'll mm -hmm. excuse me? You have your choice tonight. Chicken fried, chicken baked. Broiled. Oh, Did I say something wrong? Your timing is lousy. Timing? Yeah. What do you mean? I had Holmes right where I wanted him, sweetheart. Here in the basement? No, I mean alone. No Jennifer, no Terry, just me, him, and the furnace. Is there something meaningful to that? Well, I was doing a little homework. I was trying out a little bit of undercover tactic that I learned in class. I was getting Holmes... To confide in me, you know, kind of work my way inside, trying to help Anna and Bert with the murder case. That's great. Well, it could have been. Well, we both can work on it some more. I'll tell you what, you take Ted home, and I'll work on Jennifer. Wouldn't it be great if between the two of us we could figure out just who that murderer is? Be great. You might have to work on your technique a little bit. I, I teach you probably. Is that it for then? Well, you have to be, you have to be very subtle about these things. Subtle? Mm-hmm. But I mean, not too subtle. Well, you what did you have in mind? The technique of uh, discovery is a key item. Right around here? Well, no, honey. I mean, we have to go back to our place. Um, practice in private. In private, we wouldn't have to be too subtle, would we? No, we wouldn't. What about dinner? Before or after the lesson? After. 